think of places where you have connection between two different parts of the body. You have your shoulders, okay? you have your elbows, you have your wrists. You generally don't go to the fingertips. So these ones. Then you have your hips, your rib cage, and your knees. Okay? These are the basic elements that you need while dancing. Right? So uh, we start with just stretching our legs. So anytime I'm asking you to stretch something, so let's say for example, don't do it. I ask you to stretch your neck. Okay? Uh, your first instinct would be to compress one side of your neck. That's your immediate instinct. But no, focus on stretching rather than compressing. So compression damage is much easier than a damage by stretching something. Okay, because stretch, you can prevent it. Your body will stop you from, you know, overstretching generally. Compression, you can force too much and you can damage yourself. So, anytime I'm asking you to do something which includes one part of your body compressing, you focus on the opposite side that is being stretched. So, if I ask you to do this, you're trying to stretch the neck here. Right? Same goes when I ask you to uh, pull your... Uh, head forward, you are stretching your back, and when you come behind. Now, this is one of the other most dangerous things that people do. When you are pushing your head back, okay, you start with your head, and now head is a very heavy, useless piece of equipment that we carry on. Right? So, when you are doing this, you are compressing your neck. Okay? So, what you do again, applies for men and women is you open up your chest first, right? Open up your chest. Now if you get your, lean your head backwards, your chest will kind of, that curve will naturally protect your neck, okay? So any time, now this will take practice so that it becomes second nature. You don't have to think about it. Anytime you're bending backwards, open chest and then do whatever you want, right? Um, and for elegant, Reason, reasons of being elegant, whenever you are bending backwards, try to close your eyes. Otherwise, you look like. So, things like that. So, we'll be going through uh, all the things. Now, basic. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to stretch part. So, we we'll stretch the neck, we we'll do some shoulders, we we'll do the ribs, hips, knees, and ankles. Okay? So, we we'll start with. Put here, hold one side of your head and pull as much as possible. Ideally, you should be able to touch your shoulder, if not, does not matter. The other way. And to extend, deepen that stretch, you can uh, place your palm down to the floor and push it the opposite way. It will deepen the stretch. Forward, again, you are stretching the back of the neck. And backwards, open chest first, and then tilt your head back. Now we're going to just uh, rotate it. So go to the right, forward, left, back, and the opposite. Left, forward, right, back, and up. Shoulders. Okay, you're basically trying to get your shoulder going forward and back. Okay. Initially, if you're not used to shoulder isolation, your whole chest will move. That generally happens, it takes a little practice. So, right shoulder forward <coughs> and back. Forward, back. Forward and back left. Forward, back, forward, back. Forward and back. Now we're going to do alternate. Right goes forward, left back, left forward, right back. Cool. Now that's something you need to practice by yourself. Chest open and fold as much as possible. Open, fold. Last time and fold. Okay. We're going to. Go side to side with our ribs, okay? Uh, make sure your feet are comfortably spaced. Ideally, somewhere in your shoulder width or a little more, more. Extend your arms. 
and pull your ribcage to one side and the other. Keeping your hips as steady as possible. Okay? So, forward, to the right, hold, left, forward, back, left. Together, so roll it into one motion. The opposite, forward, left, back, right, and together. Cool. Hips, so just gently bend your knees and up. Bend knees up, bend knees and up, 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 and up. Knees, just rotate your leg one way, the other, the other one, one way, and the other. Ankles, rotate one way and the other, the other one, and the other, okay? This is uh, ideal if you do it at home or going shopping, etc. So if you're standing in the checkout queue, just, you know, do this instead. It's half the time and it's not the same. Okay, now, the basic. Generally, you know, most, uh, mostly what I see when people are doing just a basic move is that their entire body moves. Okay, this, especially uh, leaders, we men are guilty of this. The reason we are guilty of it is because we have to and we are trying to copy it, but we haven't practiced the breakdown of why somebody is moving a certain way, and then our monkey brain tries to follow it, and we go completely haywire. Okay? It is natural, everybody goes through that process. So, uh, the best way for me to explain how to do basic movements is to use a mirror. If you like what you see, then it's more, more than uh, far likely that it is okay. okay. But if you don't like what you see, most likely it is not. No, it's not a, a rule as such, but generally it is like that, right? Because the reason is, when you are dancing, you cannot see what you are doing. Whereas, when you see in the mirror, you will try and compare that with something you have seen somebody else doing, which you like. So now you have some reference to compare. So, if you have a mirror, try using that. So let's say, we just do basic, I'll just see what everybody is doing. And we will do on men's time. So, we're starting with the left. Okay, uh, guys, if you could come a little forward, please. What is that? Uh, <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> okay, so we just do basic and I'm gonna watch. And instead of looking at me, watch yourself. Okay? Do not judge anybody else, just judge yourself. <laughs> Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, so a couple of things immediately that I see is hands. You have no idea where your hands are. Somebody is like, okay, the others are half. Uh, so, uh, ladies generally be elegant. The last one, the ladies. So, Ladies follow how Alarcos is dancing and men, for us, we need to be a little masculine but not overly so. Because if you are overly masculine, then you will not move. You will be there. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to balance our masculinity with a bit of femininity. Otherwise, we will not be dancing. We will be doing rugby. <laughs> right? Yes, right? Uh, it's a funny story that the first time I uh, spoke about dancing in at my workplace. I was the only non-Irish in the company. This is back in 2005. 
Uh, so the guy said, that is such a gay thing to do. <laughs> I said, that makes sense, you know? Now, they were all like six foot two and six foot six, uh -huh. heavy rugby players. Uh, I was the tiny little child in the So, uh, one evening, I got one of them, he went to an office night out, and I was going to a uh, party, salsa party. So he said, okay, look, I'll come along. So he came, there was Pachata going on, we were doing sensual bachata, so I came back to him and his jaw was on the floor. <laughs> and I asked him, so do you think daddy is gay? <laughs> he dancing with these beautiful women? Oh, or, <laughs> or 11 of you taking shower together? <laughs> so, his complete uh, in world was shattered after that. So basically what I'm saying is we need to mix a little bit of, you know, uh, feminine stuff going on in here and do not be ashamed of moving like women don't make that judgment because if you do as a man you will not improve as a dancer dancing is about expressing emotions what you get through the song okay so men hands as much as possible by your waist half fist okay not full but half fist try to make that uh, uh, like part of your dancing. Every time you're doing any basic, keep it here. Okay? Ladies, you do. This is the movement. Okay. So the idea is that your body, when you are moving the hand down, your body stays the floor. Okay? And then the movement, you keep your forearm still. And it's this movement, and you try to put your palm aligning the middle part of your body. This is the idea, but then you personalize your face, okay? So it's like when you are done, when you are working, like maybe the, the opposite. Arm to your feet, you know what I mean? So if you <laughs> don't do the same, it's like the other one. So it's the same here. One, two, and three, and that, five, six, seven, eight. Try not to move your shoulders. Because then, if you are used to do it, you will leave your feet there. One, two, three, and then when you are doing it, you will be crazy. <laughs> okay, and adding to that applies to both of you. When you are used to just having your hands structured, okay, then you start using them to learn how to isolate your shoulders, okay? And this applies for both ladies and men is if I am moving a foot to one side, the opposite hand goes to that shoulder. Okay? So, if I'm going left step, my right hand touches the shoulder. Left stays by my waist. Okay? I step two, my left hand comes to the shoulder. So, from here, it will be one, two, three. On the four, it's just a tap, so do not move. Then you go opposite. Six, seven, eight. We try that together. So remember, you only do that one, two, three. Because on the four, it's a tap to keep it where it was. Then you switch going the other way for three. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, again, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Super. Some of you are not doing it. In case, did anybody, everybody understand? You need to change lengths. If you do, please do. Um, again, guys, remember we are going through the fundamentals, okay? Sometimes it will be boring. Some of you already probably know it. If you already know this, do it better. Okay? So, now, <laughs> everything I said about hand positioning has gone out the window. I go and write this down. Yeah. yeah right. All times. No, no, relax. <laughs> so, at all times, because it takes practice to actually be like this. All times, okay? So, remember, that one, two, three, four, and five, six, Seven, eight, two, five, six, seven, go. And a one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For our followers, leaders, when we keep our elbow out, so when I'm doing that, elbow out, elbow out, right? Touch and elbow out. Now, and when you're doing the elbow, it's not going back, it's going to the side. So the reason is, if you do it this way, it completely spoils your form. So you need to keep in line with your dance, so elbow. Ladies, not elbow, you let your hand go down. Okay? So, and the idea for ladies generally is you start with your wrist pointing out and then let your wrist hold out. Yeah? So you're basically using your body's joints the way they are intended to. Right. Let's do it together. Last time. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, this time, please don't look at me. See if you can spot yourself in the mirror. Okay? See how it is. Five, six, <laughs> seven, go. And one, two, three, four. Shoulder, shoulder, shoulder. And shoulder, 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 go. Okay. So we have about 50 percent of you who are committed to it. The other 50 percent are not sure. Mm -hmm. Should I do it or not? Like hey, we do it last time. Please touch the shoulder. Don't be afraid. It's your shoulder. You know. You are safe to touch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Together. But please, please, please touch. There is a very valid reason I'm asking you to do this. I'll tell you afterwards once I see everybody's touching themselves. Okay? No, that's too much. Look up, don't you mind. Five, six, seven, go. Touch, shoulder, touch, stop. And touch, shoulder, touch, again. Touch, touch, touch. Touch, touch, touch. Much better. The reason I'm asking you to do it is almost everybody's basic is now much better than the first time you did it. Okay? Because you are focused on your upper body. So your lower body is not doing a lot of jiggles. Okay? That's the reason. So it gives you structure, it gives you something to follow with your upper body. Okay? So Please practice this whenever you can. It comes really, really handy. The other thing later on you develop from this is the shoulder rolls that will come naturally from this. You'll be able to roll your shoulder when you are dancing just by doing this. Okay? Super. We will do uh, <clears throat> something, <laughs> a simple basic footwork. Uh, a little complicated, but not overly so. And then we can switch Okay? What's the time now? Okay. So, we are doing this a basic first. One, just watch. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we are going to do a one, two, and three, four. Okay? It will mess with a lot of your minds. But that's the idea, just to challenge yourself a little bit more. So essentially I'm doing, I'll change legs, I'll step one, two, and three, four. So the two and is almost on the beat, same beat. So just it's the same. One, two, three, four. But I'm just adding that and one, two, and three, four. It's a big class, okay? Let's try together. Five, six, seven, and one, two, and three. Okay, five, six, seven, and one, two, and three, four. Fabulous. Uh, the next part we do from there is so we are here one, two, and three, four. We go five, six, 
7 and 8. It will happen. It will happen. Don't worry. You're not going to do too much. Just these two and eight, one more. If you can get it. So, the second part of that is essentially just tap front, tap back and side, and then switch. Step back. Okay? So, right, 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 left. So the timing would be 5, 6, 7, and 8. Good. We do the two together and then we switch back. So 5, 6, 7, and 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Excellent. Switch back, please. Come forward, come forward, come forward, come forward. Come forward. Uh, but each, yeah. on eight, you put the weight or not? Is the top on eight? Seven and eight. Eight is a step or a top? No, no, it's a step. It's, it's a step. step. Okay. Uh, five, six, seven, and one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three, one, four. This time, Try to add some sound suppression. Okay. No, try to make it quieter, if possible. Five, six, seven, and one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. When you are doing the switch or the same example, do it on the kind of your toes, basically. If you do it with me, you won't have the time to actually do the switch. Okay. Five, six, seven, and eight. Right? All happy with that? No problems? From here, we are going to do one and two and three, four, basic, six, seven. You finished here? Right? The next is one, you go one and two and three and four. Five, six, seven. It is one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, five, six, seven, and one and two and three, four, five, six, seven. The whole thing? Five, six, seven, go. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Switch legs. <laughs> if you are not getting it, not worry. I am just getting you longer for what's coming. If you want, everybody just watch. Okay? Just watch for a second. Five, six, seven, and one, two, and three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven. Together, five, six, seven, and one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven. Let me have three. Five, six, look at yourself in the mirror. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, and three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Three. Ish. <laughs> okay. But again, the reason you need this is so you have better control of your footwork. Okay? Uh, your brain can then switch off what to do with your feet. Even if the music is fast, your feet will catch. If you are uh, able to switch your feet fast. So and plus this one and beat. And again, one, two, and three, four. That gives you uh, a better range of uh, motion when you are when you're dancing. Okay. So no questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apart from the all. <laughs> yeah. What do you do for So for now, we don't mix the two. So you practice, you know, this one separately and the two parts of it.
Uh, what will happen is, when your upper body is confident of what it's doing, your lower body is confident of what it's doing, naturally it will start working together. Because if we try and focus on both, uh, it's going to go disaster. Yeah, basically, that's why I'm not pushing you to focus on both, right? Okay, so, uh, part of stuff what we are doing is, uh, anybody here who has been dancing bachata for less than a month? Apart from Luca, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, Luca has a lengthy, like early, uh, selective amnesia. <laughs> Forgets things when he wants to. Uh, okay, another common issue that we find is positioning when you are starting to dance, okay, and how you approach your partner when you're dancing. So, depending upon um, how much drink you had before you go dancing, especially mm -hmm. men, right, your uh, approach to women varies. So, you see a, a good looking woman and they're like, okay, put that up, right? <laughs> so, generally not a good idea, <laughs> generally. <laughs> uh, positioning, again, is important. Before I go ask a partner, at first I need to fill myself with confidence, okay? You might uh, not believe even this, to this day, I have sometimes lack of confidence in asking somebody to dance. So, the way I fake it is, I just expand my chest a little. Uh, not ladies. No. <laughs> <laughs> for confidence. <laughs> so, I just expand my chest a little bit. Think of myself as a peacock walking into the dance floor, right? Uh, it, it really helps that picture. You're really like looking big. Okay, and then I would ask for, would you like to dance? She would no. say no. <laughs> no, this is what we do when she says no. You're here, she says no, you keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> use every adversity to your advantage. <laughs> do not, <laughs> do not be dejected for any reason. Something that's what you immediately slide over. <laughs> it's like, who was talking to you? It will build up your confidence too. Because otherwise, what will happen is you ask the first person to dance, they refuse because they're Spanish. <laughs> they have the right to refuse anybody. And you, your confidence already, which was low, would be like shattered on the floor. And you will sit all night drinking. You know, hitting yourself. So, get used to being rejected. It's better that way. So, if you ask and if they're happy to dance with you, do not start immediately with all your sensual moves. Okay? Start with the basic respectable distance, uh, palm to palm, somewhere around the, the height of their shoulder. Okay? Unless they are much taller than you. Then you bring it down to your shoulder as a leader. On the shoulder plate, the other hand, and you are off center. So your right foot is in between, not in between, but in the line between the two feet. Okay? From here, music starts. Generally, most bachata songs have a few bars of intro. So as soon as the song starts, don't go crazy with everything that you remember, okay? Take your time, just switch weight, switch weight, switch weight, switch weight, and then stop, okay? Again, it makes a difference as a dancer, uh, especially as a leader, and for followers, it gives them a little time to adjust to the way you lead, okay? Then, when you are ready that she trusts you, then you get close. The best way to get close is you get them into a turn and then you're close and most likely they did not notice. If <laughs> <laughs> you're going very smooth. Practical lessons, you know. Uh, playing over years and years of dancing. <laughs> 
Now, so first part is your basic, which if you do what we have done, just with the footwork, you'll be able to do it nice and easy. Okay? Generally what I see is this is happening a lot. The problem there is every time you do this, it's a potential lead to your partner. So she never know when you're going to actually do something. Right? So I keep it smooth and when I actually want to lead them into something, let's say turn, I that's when I move. And Turn. Right? And so before we do the turn, how many of you know how to spin? You just do a 30 seconds spin drill. Basically, just spin on your feet. Not many. Okay. Spin for balance. No, it helps. Spins help with balance. So even if in Bhashata we don't really enjoy spinning, but if you practice spinning, it helps with your balance, especially legs, right? Uh, the best way to do spin, is, and I won't take too long with this, 30 seconds, you open, kind of get your core tight, bring a little spinning effect and let your body relax, okay? Practice with quarter turns, if not half turn. So just watch for a second. I'm going to do four quarter turns. Okay? So I prepare my body, I am my hands up, I open my foot, or legs, twist my body to one side and just release. Quarter. Again, open, prep, release. Open, prep, release, open, prep, release. Once you have the quarter working. Do both sides, okay? Both sides. Once you have that, then move it into half. So you get here, you do a 180 degree. So you have 280 degrees, you're back. Once you have that, you do three quarters. So I'm starting here, I need to finish where my right shoulder is, right? I go there, right? Do that four times, you'll be back where you started. And once you have that down, you do a foot. Okay. Again, something if you practice, your entire dancing would go a different way. Two reasons is your confidence will build up, your balance will improve drastically. Right? So anytime you're doing anything where you need to turn, your body really knows how to do it properly. Okay. Excellent. So we're going to do a couple of things. Uh, we we'll start with the turn. Okay. I'm going to start with something that looks nice and then we kind of go down to more boring stuff. So basically I will start with a turn and I am going to give them a little bit. Okay. Nothing uh, complicated. Uh, I'm going to switch that to the word. Okay, just this much, right? Because uh, again the idea is if you get this right you will learn a lot of body positioning, uh, weight control and balance. Okay. So, <coughs> the first part is giving them the top. Six, seven, eight. Okay. When you are doing that, I am going to get this hand to my shoulder and I open my feet Outwards, not side, but forward. Right? So as the leader, this is what I'm doing. I go a one, two, three, prepare. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah? So if this foot is very, very important and it goes diagonal. Okay? And if you watch my right hand, so with my left, I turn, turn, pull it slightly over my shoulder and my right hand kind of stays where it was but it will follow that back. It's with this hand I am getting them to turn, right? And my foot is here blocking them from going anywhere back. That's all you need to do. Let go of that hand and you have them in a nice position. Followers, 
When you are being asked to do this, again, if the leader is doing it nice, you will most likely have no other choice to just follow this gently, right? So you are here, five, six, seven, and I'm stopping you and I'm pulling your hand behind my shoulder, okay? So you are twisting, not stepping. It's very, very important because if you step, if you step, you will most likely lose balance. So you finish your turn and the leader is not giving you any indication to move. He's just getting you to twist your foot. Now, when you do the twist, you will have control of your own weight. So you are not actually depending on him. Okay? And last point for the followers, when I ask you to bend backwards, you are still holding on to your weight. You are not using me too much for support. Okay? So, it's very, very important. Don't, don't trust the men. Like I said. Your weight there remains on the right, yeah? My weight. On the right. Yeah. Most of it. But, again, it will more like, depending upon how much I am asking for twist, I will be spreading my weight on both. But, the reason I am more on my right is, so here's the difference. If I keep my weight centered, so if you watch, this is the leader. If I keep my weight balanced on both, this is how it looks, okay? If I switch to my right, I have more gap with my partner, and it looks nicer. Yeah? Okay, let the last pair up and then we try this. Can I pop here? <laughs>
I'm putting a distance. I can do it from here, it's no problem. I can do it from where I am, but it is less effective and it looks less nicer than I'm here. I have a little seesaw effect happening. Open and then go cross. It's much smoother, it's much safer, and it gives them the time to really adjust to your feet. Okay? So, when we do one basic, and on the second one, you gently open, prepare them for a turn, turn, and just stop with your hands still up above the shoulder. Don't do the bull. Sorry, can we ask what is the lady? <laughs> Follow. Just uh, like this, do I mean? No, 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 nothing. No. You just follow because it's completely up to the leader at the moment. Right? So, uh, leaders, for now, do not get them all the way. I just want you to stop with your hand above their shoulder. For now, okay? So, one basic and into a top. Five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, now. Open, two. Three, prepare, five, six, seven, up. And up. Cool? From here, you all you're doing is leaders, your feet should be slightly shoulder width. Okay? For now, this is not the full one, I'm just getting step by step. So you're here, you just slowly pull their left hand on top and let your body twist with them. So you are trying to face them at all times. Yeah? Followers, if you watch Alarcos, she is completely stable and secure without doing it. If you are not, you are not doing it right. Basically that's it. If you feel like you are going to fall or you are really in, in pain, you are not doing it right. You just twist your body. Just twist. <laughs> Question? You do it a few times. Figure out your own comfort level. The only thing remember to remember is, ladies, if you are not in balance, you're not doing it right. If you feel any pain anywhere, you're not doing it right. That's the only two things. Okay? Five. Yes, sir. No, and the men are we like predominantly like leaning on the left, or are we just? Twisting, that's At the it. moment, just twist. twist. Don't worry about the feet. Okay, yeah. okay. Fix one of them. Uh, one by one. Right? Five, six, seven, go. Basic. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Now, open. Two, three, prepare. Five, six, seven, eight. Pull, 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 ten. Anybody in discomfort? No? Oh my god, professional actually. <laughs> right, so next step for, for the leaders is to finish the touch. Okay? You are pulling the hand onto your shoulder. At the same time, you push your feet forward. So again, you are twisting like this. So I'm here, I twist and let your left foot slide forward, okay? So watch, I do a turn, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and twist, okay? So that twist and the foot is kind of happening at the same time. So now what that will do is, just so you understand why I'm doing it, my thigh connects with the, the outside of their thigh. And that gives them a uh, support. Hmm? It becomes another one. <laughs> uh, another one. <laughs> 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 and if you really want it, you just let them go. <laughs> so, you have the hand here, you pull it back. Why you twist and let your feet slide fall? Oh. Right, together? Five, six, seven, basic. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and 
one. Nice. Um, change by <laughs> Outside circle, just let me see going clockwise. Inside circle, if you get bored of each other, try it. <laughs> if not, you keep throwing. Okay, one last time. Okay, two, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and go. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and one. Okay. So, here we go. Line. 
Okay? I'm just twisting. It with the contact will happen automatically. Cool? So, no questions, we do it to music, just a little bit so you kind of you know get used to the feel of the music. And then we move on to something.
Even if you are feeling bad for you, don't need the guy with you away. He's just there because you don't need somebody to meet the guy. Otherwise, yeah, who needs friends? <laughs> right? Okay, so we have this for now. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two. There is no timing there. You really don't have to get here on the board, etc. Take your time because you are ending the dance. You want it to be as memorable as possible. So she goes back happy. That's <laughs> <laughs> the best answer. Right. So that's the ending sequence. I think you're all pretty comfortable with it. Okay? Uh, if not, it's just a matter of practicing. So when you go next dancing or you're practicing, add this as many times as possible. You will annoy this one person you're dancing with. But then it worked very well with the other shiva. So it's a sacrifice. <laughs> Super. Then we will do something uh, which is probably not beginners, but I still see a lot of you trying, which is the bend backwards. Okay? Basically, you're just trying to hold the woman backwards in any way, way possible, right? Uh, ideally, remember one thing, if this is a tree or something, right? You're trying to bend it to one side. It always works best if you first start leaning them to the opposite side and then bend, right? Because you're getting them into the motion of, like, you know, you're getting them out of their center of balance and then they're already there, then you let them go back, it will be easier. Whereas if I'm here and somebody pushes me back, my immediate reaction is to oppose it. So, whereas what I'm doing is, I'm first getting them to feel safe. Human body is designed to protect itself from going backwards because we cannot see where we are. But we see where we are facing and your partner is facing you. In most places she thinks that if she is moved forward, she will be safe. Right? So that's why I move them forward and then do if I'm doing a wave, down, if I'm doing a bend, I can do the bend backwards. Okay? So the first thing is to get them to move forward. And then release. Okay. We try this again, followers, ladies. Your safety is your responsibility. If the leader is doing in a way that you don't feel safe, you control how much you go. Please, please, please don't tell that he was not leading properly and now my disc is out of Okay? So, <clears throat> what we are going to do, leaders, is we are here, we first get ourselves in the position, okay? What we do is, okay, there are many, many different ways of achieving this. We are just taking one at the moment, which is the simplest. So I'm going to, just watch for a second. I'm going to position myself in a way which is easier for me to control the move and be safe. So I will, generally, majority of you would be more comfortable with your right foot as your main, right? If not, you switch. So the other foot goes slightly backwards, you pull their upper body gently forward, get this connection, and release. Okay? Now what's happening here is, I am giving my partner my hip connection there, so they feel stable till there. If you don't have this, if you are this far apart, you give them, they don't really feel secure and you are not, you will hurt your back. Whereas I have this connection, they will feel more secure and I can really hold their weight. <laughs> yeah? So you need to work on first this connection. Don't do the dip yet, we get this one. Right? Here, I am going to slowly ask them to come forward while I give my hip. Now, 
seven, close, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then open, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, and finish. Together. Five, six, seven, go. One. Turn and close. Two. Basic. One, two, three, five. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And open. Two, three, turn. Six, seven. One, two, three. Four. Excellent. Excellent. Right, guys, that is all of that. And just remember, if you break down the two moves you have done and the footwork and the hand, you actually have a lot of essentials of dancing. Okay? Don't think that you have to remember these moves. Practice it so that every part of it becomes natural to you. Then anything else you do, will take, absorb the way you're moving here into it and the dancing will become much better. Okay? Right, thank you very much. Thanks guys, hope